so hello everyone let's see in this session few of the questions or mcqs nothing but multiple choice questions based on general sciences and general intelligence so this session will be in english okay so these questions are useful in state level exams ssc railways etc okay so in general sciences we will cover the major parts okay so i have brought you some of the questions that we can expect in recent exams so let's go to question number 1 okay so look at question number 1 so first we'll cover concept of general sciences okay so first question i have got it from the section called biology so here question number 1 which of the following cells in the human body do not contain mitochondria okay so basically what is this mitochondria means mitochondria is basically a single cell device or single cell based uh, thing okay so what is the function of this mitochondria means it transfers energy to the cells okay it promotes it provides or it the prominent role of this particular mitochondria is to pro produce energy of the cell okay so in which of the cells human body do not contain mitochondria the answer is option number a red blood cells so question number 1 answer is a red blood cells right then chalo let's go to question number 2 so which of the following mammals is slash are critically endangered so endangered means they are very less in number okay the corresponding mammals are very less so out of these three which of the following is endangered okay the answer is option number d all of the above so let's see what all these pygmy hog kondana rat malabar civet uh, say okay pygmy hog pygmy hog is the smallest pig okay so this is the smallest pig generally this is found in the states called assam up uttar pradesh in india okay so in the year 2018 less than 200 animals or 200 uh, pygmy hawks mammals have been identified in assam okay in barnadi wildlife sanctuary so is assam is having barnadi wildlife sanctuary so this is present in these two states assam uttar pradesh then southern bhutan nepal etc okay this is the smallest pig if i take you to second option kondana rat as the name suggests it is a rat this is the smallest rat so this is generally found in maharashtra okay and option number c malabar civet malabar civet is generally found in kerala travancore all right so these animals are critically endangered means these particular species are getting less in number day by day okay so answer is option number d all of the above pygmy hawk kondana rat malabar civet as well as right then let's go to question number 3 the nifa virus is of which type which of the following type okay so some information regarding this virus called nifa virus okay so nifa virus is generally produced from bats or sick pigs okay so it can transfer from animals to people as well as within the people also okay so it is transmitted from animal to humans as well as it is spread between people and their corresponding neighbors also okay so this in this nifa virus it is the type called option number b rna the full form of rna is ribo nucleic acid so question number 3 option number b ribonucleic 
as it okay then let's go to question number 4 if the resistance of a circuit is doubled so this question comes from physics if the resistance of a circuit is doubled keeping a constant voltage then current through the circuit would okay so what is the relation between current as well as resistance okay so we already know a formula what is that formula means i equals to v by r okay so here i denotes current v denotes voltage and r denotes resistance okay so the relation between current and voltage is i equals to v by r so here i can say that current and resistance these both are inversely proportional to each other okay so if resistance is doubled then the corresponding current through that circuit will be reduced by half why because both are inversely proportional to each other from the formula so question number four answer is option number b reduced by half right then let's jump to question number five the important unit of a microprocessor the important unit of a microprocessor so microprocessor generally consists of alu nothing but arithmetic and logical unit array of registers which is nothing but single storage based devices as well as control unit which is used to control the things in the processor so the answer for this particular question is option number d all of the above right then let's go to question number six the image formed in a compound microscope so compound microscope whatever the image we see in this particular microscope it comes in inverted format so question number six the answer is option number c inverted then let's go to question number seven which of the following component emits the vast majority of anthropogenic carbon dioxide so generally carbon dioxide according to the options if we see it is emitted from various of the devices but according to the options if you see the answer is option number a fossil fuels so question number seven option number a fossil fuels then let's go to question number eight the nature of a fuse wire okay so again this question comes from physics fuse wire so basically what does this uh, fuel wire say means it is an electrical instrument so fuse wire is a is an electrical instrument okay so what is the function of this fuse wire is to reduce damage to the electrical appliances so whatever the appliances will be using in the home which are electrical in nature okay that can be uh, what do you say motor okay or um, uh, or any other instruments generally if is whatever the electrical instruments so what is the nature of this fuel wire is here it regulates the high flow of current within that okay so the particular nature of this fuel uh, fuse wire is it has high resistance and low melting point so the answer for this particular question is option number d it has high resistance and low melting point okay then next let me take you to question number nine which of the following is used in mri machine okay mri m r i if you know the abbreviation then the answer of this particular question is very easy magnetic resonance imaging okay so the full form of mri is magnetic resonance in imaging and the answer is option number d magnetic wave okay so it is useful in detection of tumors which are related to brain and spinal cord etc okay then let's jump to question number 10 
the temperature which has same reading on both the Fahrenheit and Celsius scales. Okay, so at which Fahrenheit and Celsius both are having same. So it is at minus 40 degrees. Okay, so the relation between Fahrenheit and Celsius we can identify by using a formula. So what is that formula means? F equals to C plus sorry just a moment f equals to c into 9 by 5 plus 32 okay the relation between Fahrenheit and Celsius f equals to c into 9 by 5 plus 32 okay from this you can bring c okay so f minus 32 equals to c into 9 by 5 right from this if i bring c c equals to f minus 32 into 5 by 9 if i bring this the relation between foreign heat and Celsius is this and the relation between Celsius and foreign heat is this okay so here according to the question so this is the just the proof which I am going to say so let us say both are same and value of both is X let us say so let's put the value of X in the place of C and F Celsius and foreign heat so x equals to you can take any of the equation either this or this no issue so x equals to x minus 32 into 5 by 9 let's all x so here 9x by 5 equals to x minus 32 implies 9x by 5 minus x equals to minus 32 so here if i take the lcm 9x minus 5x 9x minus 5x is 4x 4x by 5 equals to minus 32 so we can say 4 8s are so x equals to minus 40 degree okay so at this particular temperature the value of I mean the temperature of Fahrenheit and Celsius is same. So this is just the proof. But if you directly remember this, it will be easy. Okay. So the answer is minus 40 degrees. Okay. Then let us go for next question. So now we let us cover some of the information regarding general sciences also. Okay. So one morning a person is practicing karate okay he is in the posture of headstand so here generally what do you mean by headstand means uh, his head is towards ground okay so generally a person will be like this standing headstand means he will be just in reverse okay so we already know the directions this vertical line is north south and horizontal line is east west his face is towards east so his face is towards east means he is standing like this okay then in which direction is his right hand so he is facing east he's facing east so this is towards his left and this is towards his right so his right hand will be in which direction means we can say option number C south so generally if we say his face is facing east means he will be in west direction okay his face is towards east just a point okay so just a moment let me draw the figure again properly so north south east west okay so his face is towards east here he has not said that he is facing towards east 
okay his face is towards east so this is his face okay and this is towards his right and this is towards his left if he says he is facing towards he is facing towards east means he will be facing west okay but here he has said that his face is east that means his right side will be north not south okay so the answer for this particular question is option number a north right then let, let me go to question number 2 based on number series okay so 6 20 40 68 106 and what will come in the place of question mark now here um see if you look at the series they are constantly increasing okay so basically there is no shortcut for uh, these kinds of questions so we need to go with the approach basically so first if you see here you can go with the common difference okay the difference between 6 and uh, 20 is 14 the difference between these two is 20 40 68 is 28 and 68 106 8 3 38 if you see the difference okay so are we getting any relation means no we are not getting any relation if you look at the difference but if you go with the differences of the differences you might get some idea right let if you see here 14 20 the difference is 6 28 20 the difference is 8 38 and 28 the difference is 10 if you see it is gradually incrementing by 2 okay so 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 20 means the next one will be 12 okay so 14 plus 6 20 20 plus 8 28 28 plus 10 38 38 plus 12 it is 50 okay so 38 plus 12 will be 50 so if i add 106 to 50 the answer will be 156 so the answer for this particular question is option number b 156 then let's go to question number 3 find the odd one out of the given alternatives so here odd one out means nothing but we need to find the particular option which is different from the others okay so if you see the options are bombay cup rangaswami cup nehru trophy as well as narang cup okay so out of these these three belong to hockey and this belong to badminton okay so in classification we can get any we can expect any question that can be from uh, uh, english or that can be from gk or it can be from number series also okay so the answer for this particular question is option number d narang cup okay then let's go for question number 4 so question number 4 comes from silox okay syllogisms consists of different different statements we need to find out what is the relation according to the statement specified okay so the best possible method is venn diagram method so here if i take you to the first statement what is the first statement he is saying all lotus are rose so this is lotus so all lotus are rose okay then second one no rose is lily the relation between rose and lily is no if the relation between rose and lily is no the relation between lotus and lily is also no why because lotus is inside rose as there is no connection here this lily cannot cross the boundary of rose and come inside and form connection with respect to rose remember that and what is the third statement says some lotus are jasmine some lotus sir jasmine so here if some lotus are jasmine then some jasmine are rose also why because all lotus are rose according to the statement so this is the diagram which we have drawn according to the statements which are given okay now we need to say whether these conclusions are true or false so basically conclusions are of two types definite and possible so here you cannot find any possibility kinds of conclusions so directly you can go for the diagram which you have drawn so look at first one what does the first one say no lotus is lily so the relation between rose and lily is no implies the relation between ro- lotus and lily will be also no as i have said previously so conclusion number 1 will be definitely true 
okay true then look at question number two what does conclusion number two say some jasmine are not lily so if you see here some jasmine are lotus and no rose is lily in the shaded part if you see the rose is added with jasmine also the relation between rose and lily is no that means in this jasmine is there this jasmine cannot be lily why because in this jasmine we have rose also and there is no relation between rose and lily so we can say that some jasmine are not lily conclusion number two will be also definitely true okay so what is our answer for this particular question means we can say both one and two follows both conclusion one as well as two both will be following right then let's go to question number five question number five is also based on silox okay so look at first statement what does the first statement say no bike is car the relation between bike and car is no then some cars are bus okay then third statement says some bus are train some bus are train no bike is car some cars are bus some bus are train so these are the three statements now look at first one what does the first one say no bus is train so bus and train what is the relation between bus and train according to the statement it is given as some but what he has given no some is different no is different so I can say this conclusion is false. Then look at two. What does two say? Some train are bike. So here train and here there is bike. Do I have some connection between these two means? We don't have any connection between those two. So second conclusion will be also false. So what is my answer means? Generally we can say neither nor. But we have one condition based on either or okay what is this condition means first condition is subject and predicate should be same subject means first element and predicate means second element bike bike train train here no bike is train or no train is bike no both are same no issue at all okay so subject and predicate both are same and second condition is both the conclusions are false so both the conclusions are false as i have said earlier okay and third condition is both the conclusion should form a complementary pair so what are complementary pairs means we can say some and no and all and some not okay so these two are considered as complementary pairs in the concept of silox right so no complementary pair is some so as these three conditions are satisfying so my answer is not neither nor my answer will be what either or so question number five answer will be option number five option number either or whatever the option that is present that will be my answer okay then let's go to next question so in a particular language this question comes under coding and decoding entertain e n t e r t a i n is coded as q o h p T I I L F then how will be jukeboxes coded J U K E B O X E S okay so generally the procedure of this coding and decoding we can solve by using positions okay so in order to know the position of each and every letter we have one keyword called edge or T so we already know that there are 26 letters in English alphabet so the position of each and every letter can be identified by using this keyword edge or t which is multiples of 5 15 20 25 so better go with the options or better go with the positions okay so the position of e is 5 14 t is 20 e 5 r 18 how you can say r 18 means we can say o 15 p 16 q 17 r 18 like that then 
T position is 20, A position 1, I position 9 and N position 14. Similarly, go for this also. 17, 15, 8, 6, 16, 20, 9, 9, 12, 6. So, the position of each and every letter, we can go for it. So, generally, if you look at the keyword called entertain, just see how many letters are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Similarly, jukeboxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, let's try to get the relationship between the letters which has been given. Okay. So, I am splitting into 3, 3, 3. So see, 5 plus 3, 8. Just look at the pattern. Pattern is very important. Then 14 plus 1, 15. And 20 minus 3, 7. 20 minus 3 is 17. Similarly, 5 plus 4, 9. 15 minus 5. 20 15 plus 5 20 and 20 minus 4 okay similarly 1 plus 5 6 9 plus 3 and 14 minus 5 9 like that okay so plus 3 plus 1 minus 3 so let's try to implement for jukebox so before that let me write the positions 10, 21, 11, 5, 2, 15, 24, 5, 19. So let me first split into 3, 3, 3 so that it will be easy. B, O, X, E, S. Right? So 5 plus 3, 8. That means 10 plus 3, 13. 13th letter is M according to dictionary. Then 14 plus 1, 15 means 21 plus 2, 22. 22nd letter is V. Then 20 minus 3, 17. Then 11 minus 3, 8. Eighth letter according to alphabetical order is H. So if there is only one option with respect to the starting point called HVM, that will be our answer. Otherwise, you need to go for each and every pattern. So look at this pattern. Uh, second half. Uh, 5 plus 4, 9. Similarly, 5 plus 4, 9. Ninth letter according to dictionary is I. Then 18 plus 2, 20. 18. Our position is 18. Previously, I told 15. Na? So our position is 18. Alane. 2 plus 2, 4. Fourth letter is D. Then. 20 minus 4, 16. Then 15 minus 4, 11. 11th letter is K. According to dictionary. Similarly, go for the last half. 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 means 24 plus 5. 24 plus 5, 29. I don't have 29th letter. So, Z is 26. Again, A, 27. Like that. You need to cover. So, 27 A, 28 B, 29 C. C. I position is 9. 9 plus 3, 12. So 5 plus 3, 8. Eighth letter is H. Then 14 plus 5. 14 minus 5, sorry. 14 minus 5. That means 19 minus 5, 14. Fourteenth letter is N. So HVM, KDI, NHC will be the answer. My writing may not be clear, but go with the concept basically. Right? <coughs> then, question number 7. Let's go. What will come in the place of question mark again? You can find number series 2, 31, 134, 359. And what will come in the place of question mark? Okay. So, generally, if you look at this series, this series is directly... Uh, going through the big number yes or no like from 2 it has started to 31 from 31 134 
from 134 it is uh, what do you say 359 okay so with respect to these particular kinds of concepts again you need to go with respect to some of the perfect squares or so perfect cubes okay so i can say 359 is little bit nearer to 343 yes or no okay for 343 if i add 16 then we are getting 359 so 343 we can say it is 7 cube and 16 means you can call it as 4 square okay mm, if i look at the first one called 2 1 cube plus 1 why because here we are concentrating on the cubes so 1 cube is 1 plus 1 square is 1 right similarly 31 2 cube is 8 so for 8 i need to add 23 not possible so let's go with 3 cube so 3 cube means 27 for 27 if i add 4 it is 31 uh, that means nothing but 3 cube plus 2 square why because for 4 i can write it as 2 square similarly 134 so 1 3 nothing but odd series 5 5 cube 5 cube is 125 here 1 square 2 square then we'll go with 3 square so 3 square is 9 125 plus 9 125 plus 9 is 134 so 1 cube 3 cube 5 cube 7 cube the next one will be 9 cube plus 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square the next will be 5 square so we already know that 9 cube is 729 and 5 square is 25 so 729 plus 25 the answer is 754 so question number 7 the answer is option number a 754 then let's go to question number 8 pointing to a woman so this question comes under blood relations pointing to a woman Bahubali said okay let's change the color she is the mother of my father's wife's sister's husband so these kinds of questions you can split the relation according to the statement uh, pointing to a woman Bahubali said she is the mother she means who women women is the mother so you can split here of my father so who is my here means Bahubali why because Bahubali is saying the sentence okay so let's go with the tree Bahubali Bahubali has father father means one generation above my father's wife's father's wife means nothing but these both are married couple okay that means these two are parents of who Bahubali my wife's my father's wife's sister's husband wife has a sister that sister has a husband okay so this husband's mother is that particular woman so this husband's mother is that particular woman she is being pointed to okay if i look at the statement again my father's wife's sister's husband so this husband's mother will be that particular woman he is pointing to okay so if you look at the question how is women's husband related to bahubali women's husband so this woman has a husband mm. so this particular person and bahubali how these both are related to each other okay so here if you see bahubali bahubali's mom mummy mother mother's sister means we can say aunt okay then aunt's mother-in-law is that particular woman why because these two are parents of this particular person's husband okay so bahubali's aunt's mother-in-law and father-in-law so this particular person should be known now. so bahubali's aunt's father-in-law is that particular person so question number eight answer will be option number b bahubali's aunt's father-in-law okay then 
we'll go with the next question uh, this will come back again then look at this particular question which option will complete the pattern in the given question mark so if you see this is the embedded figure uh, sorry uh, figure completion so here I, as you know this is should have a circle and here I should have a thing. so if you see here shaded part and dot are being present in alternate so here as here I need to go with one of the section just a moment mm. so dot full dot full dot full now here it will be dot and then here it will be full so I need an option where first dot will be there then full will be there so dot full dot full not this not this dot and full not this so my answer will be option number C dot and full then let's go to one more question based on coding and decoding dextras D E X T R A S is called as B H V W P D Q then how is problem coded again go with the positions based on the keyword called edge or T multiples of 5 5 10 15 20 25 so D position 4 5 24 20 18 1 19 similarly 17 4 16 23 22 8 and then 2 16 18 15 2 12 5 13 so generally we see in the word called extras 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 similarly problem 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so same number of letters are present in extras as well as problem so if you see here um, generally 4 minus 2 2 then 5 plus 3 8 24 minus 2 22 20 plus 3 18 minus 2 1 plus 3 19 minus 2 so the logic is minus 2 plus 3 so if I go with the options here I have not given you the options but if you uh, are having the options you can make it very easily so 16 minus 2 14 14 letter is n 18 plus 3 21 21st letter is u 15 minus 2 13 13th letter is m 2 plus 3 5 5th letter is E 12 minus 2 10 10th letter is J 5 plus 3 8 8th letter is H 13 minus 2 11 11th letter is K so N U M E J H K will be the answer ok then let's go to next question again one more question steps S T E P S U N V R U 19, 25, 16, 19, 21, 18, 22, 14, and 21. So just have a try. Let's see. Steps is written as U N V R U. How is month coded? M O N T H. Any answer? So I am writing it in a proper way. S T E P S U N V R U. So nineteen twenty one. So nineteen plus two twenty one. 20 18 20 minus 2 18 okay so if I go with this 13 15 
so first is plus 2 so 13 plus 2 15 15 letter is O then 20 minus 2 18 15 minus 2 13 13 the letter is M so the relation between E and V we know already it is opposite in nature so opposite is E and V so n n and m is opposite to each other opposite means nothing but split into half half a to m first set n to z second set so m opposite is n vice versa then see here 16 19 21 14 so 16 minus 2 14 then if you see here 20 minus 2 18 18th letter is r 19 plus 2 21 h position is 8 8 plus 2 10 so the answer for month is j r m m o okay here i have not given you the options if options have been given then it would have been easier for you right then next let me go to other question so choose the option which is different from the others so here i can say that this is hexagon consisting of six dots this is triangle consisting of three dots and this is parallelogram consisting of four dots and this is pentagon which is consisting of four dots pentagon should generally consist of five different sides so odd man out is nothing but option number d right then next question choose the option that is different from others so here in this chemistry physics biology so i hope you have got the answer what is the answer means you can say mathematics why because these three are the branches of science but maths is not branch of science okay so previously i have missed a puzzle let's come back to that puzzle also so this is that puzzle which i am talking about so let's see seven people kamal nalini namrata sheila shakti arun and sukanya uh, liking three different subjects maths science and physics and study in three different schools p q r among them less than two and more than three do not study in the same subject means not less than two and not more than three not less than two means a particular people should be more than two and not less than three not more than three means less than or equals to three okay so minimum two and maximum three a particular college similarly same college as well as same school so this is a parameter based puzzle in parameter based puzzle you can take fixed parameters as parameters which are minimum so here i have three parameters one is people then second one is subjects and third one is schools okay so people are nine subjects are three and schools are also three so that means this is a non-uniform based puzzle so here you need to go with the parameter called fixed parameter and start doing the puzzle so we can start with the minimum parameters so let me take schools here so p just a moment P, Q, then R. So these three are the schools which I am talking about. Okay. Namrata studies in school P, which has only one student. Namrata studies maths in school P. Okay, fine. So in P, Namrata is studying which subject means maths which has only one more student named Shakti okay so here there is other person called Shakti also here I can find the keyword only means there are only two persons in this particular school so in P except these through no other is there Namrata as well as Shakti okay then Kamal does not study in school R if not R, there is a possibility of Q or P. But already we know that 
in p there are only two people who are those two namrata as well as shakti so kamal doesn't study in r means kamal will be studying in q so kamal will be studying in q but he is a student of mathematics okay fine kamal is a student of maths right then shakti and sukanya study the same subject i don't know the subject of sukanya fine then sheela studies physics in our school okay fine sheela will be studying physics okay so total there are seven people so here only two out of seven if two are finished then five are left okay so five three two or two three can't say then nalini is also a student of our school okay fine nalini is also a student of r okay then arun and sukanya do not study in our school means obviously arun and sukanya will be studying in school q so arun then sukanya right okay then nalini and shakti study science so shakti is studying science nalini is also studying science and already we have got one information shakti and sukanya study same subject so shakti is studying science in place sukanya will be also studying science right now arun's subject is missing so if you see maths how many we have got 1 2 fine then mm, the other subject is science science how many people are studying shakti sukanya nalini and what is the other subject missing physics so physics there is only one person who is that person means sheela but if you look at the statement not less than 2 do not study in the same subject so physics there is only one person means there should be other person who will be studying physics that means for arun we can give the subject called physics okay so in this manner we can do these kinds of questions so namrata shakti are studying in p arun kamal sukanya are studying in q sheela and nalini so 2 3 5 5 plus 2 7 people will be studying in respective colleges so finally these are the questions which we can expect with respect to these portal competitive exams so in the next session we will cover some other informations regarding these competitive exams so thank you everyone keep visiting our channel thank you